So small angle approximations allow you to work out approximations to sine, cosine and tan for small angles. Okay, it's kind of effectively explains what it is uh, on the sign of the tin, right? Um, so if you wanted to work out what sine of, I don't know, 0.01 was, okay, then you could use the small angle approximation uh, in order to find it rather than typing it into your calculator. You get a reasonable approximation uh, when you're using your small angle, okay? when you're using your small angle approximation. So I'm going to show you how to derive these, um, well, the sine and tan small angles, and from that we'll get the cosine one, uh, using this geometrical approach, okay, using this diagram. So what we've got here is a sector A, B, and C prime, okay? Now, this dotted line here is perpendicular to the line AC prime, okay, and it has length H. R here is the radius of your sector, and D is the length AC. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus in on that right angle triangle, and we can say to ourselves that, okay, well, for this right angle triangle, if this is the angle that I'm interested in and looking at, then this would be the opposite side, this would be the hypotenuse, and this would be the adjacent. Okay, so I would be able to say that sine of the angle theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, so h over r. The consequence of that is that I would be able to write that length h in terms of r and theta. So h is r sine theta. Now I can also say that tan of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So that would be h over d. So I would be able to say that h is equal to d lots of tan theta. Okay, so I now have two ways of writing down h h is equal to r sine theta, which is the same as d tan theta from my diagram. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're now going to think about theta, the angle, getting small. Okay, what happens when theta is a small angle? So as theta approaches zero, so it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, what happens to h and what happens to d? Okay, now let's have a look at h first. So what you can imagine is that as h gets smaller, sorry, as theta gets smaller, okay, so let's say we've got to this point, theta's now just that length, h is now this vertical line here. So you can see that it's actually getting closer to being the length of the arc um, from where B would now be to C prime. So that vertical distance is now getting closer to the length of the outside of the sector. Now the arc length of a sector is given by theta times r. So that means that h is approaching theta times r, the arc length of a sector. What's happening to d? Well, remember, d is the length between a and c, but c would now be over here. So d is getting closer and closer and closer to being that full length between a and c prime, which is the same as r. So d is getting longer and is tending towards r. So, what does that mean? Well, we've got the r sine theta, okay, and what I'm saying is that that, um, the h is approaching theta r, so that means that theta r will be approximately the r sine theta when theta is small. So as theta tends to zero, h is tending to that, 
R sine theta is R sine theta. And the D tan theta is approaching R tan theta. Now, all three of these things have this R factor in common. So I could divide through by R. And I would then say that theta is approximately sine theta, which is approximately tan theta. So what this is saying is that for small angles, sine and tan are approximately the same as the angle. So if I was looking at sine of 0.01, for example, then that's approximately 0.01. And tan of 0.01 is approximately 0.01. Okay? Now you could try that on your calculator. So if you're in, make sure in radians, OK, so sine of 0.01 is 9.9998333 times 10 to the minus 3, which is close to 0.01. Tan of 0.01 is 0.01000333335. So both very close to just the angle that you've inputted. OK, now how do we get cosine? Now, I can't use this diagram for this, but I can use the double angle formula. So we've got the double angle formula that cosine of 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. OK, so we've got this double angle formula. So if I was to then say that um, I wanted an approximation for cosine of an angle, then cosine of theta is equal to, where theta is 2x, that means that x is theta over 2. So 1 take away 2 sine squared of theta over 2. OK, so that is the double angle formula in use there. Now, if I'm saying that theta is small, then cosine theta will be approximately 1 take away 2 lots. Well, I've got sine of theta over 2. When the angle's small, sine of theta over 2 will just be theta over 2. So it's that bit that's getting squared, because sine theta is approximately theta, remember. So sine of theta over 2 will be approximately theta over 2. So if I simplify that, I get 1 take away, well, I've got theta squared over 4 times 2, which is theta squared over 2. And so we have our small angle approximations. Sine theta is approximately theta. Cosine theta is approximately 1 take away theta squared over 2. And tan of theta is approximately theta. These are the small angle approximations, OK, which are given to you in the formula booklet. And so this is how they can be derived.